Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ back with another video, man. And it's been a long time, bro, since I did one of these videos. It's a long awaited. If it's not long awaited to y'all, it's long awaited to me. The last video said a month ago, but I think I dropped that at the beginning of January or somewhere around there. It's almost April right now, so I'm gonna show y'all some of my new spring pickups. Some pickups um I got in LA, some of them I got for like Paris Fashion Week. Um, and I'm only looking over here because it's a bunch of stuff, but yeah, we're gonna get into this video so I'm not holding y'all up too long and also so I don't have to take so long to edit. Yeah, man, let's get into these fits real quick. We're gonna start off with a heater. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, bro. It's a lot of y'all that's not subscribed. Make sure y'all subscribe because it's gonna help the boy out. But I appreciate y'all for supporting me as always. Okay. I added everything up before I started the video because I'm like, damn. Somebody told me, like, you probably spend this much amount on, cl on clothes a month. I'm like, nah. Then I just started going through the stuff and I'm like, add this, add this, add this, add this. I'm like, oh, shit. I gotta slow down, bro. I'm trying to move, bro. I think I'm trying to move. I don't know if y'all know too much about that, but y'all hear me talk about it probably often on Instagram, but... I'm trying to move to LA, I think. But yeah, let's get into this. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I also been upgrading my hangers. I got the wooden hangers now. I'm coming up. But this first piece right here is this Rick Owens jacket. I told y'all we started with a heater. I want to say this jacket is dark shadow, but I don't mind, obviously. Yeah, it's dark shadow. I like the cut of this right here. How it got the padded shoulder on the top. It's like this nylon type of material. Um, small zipper right here. Good open up. Um, I really like this jacket. I got this or I had Kyron Warrick pick this jacket up for me when he's in Montreal because y'all know he live in Montreal before I was going to Paris. Like I really wanted this jacket. So I'm like, all right, Paris Fashion Week. I ended up buying it. He went to go pick it up for me. And then once we got our Airbnb in Paris, we just linked up and then he handed it off to me. He took good care of it. I love you, brother. Appreciate you so much. And we're going to get back up. I know you're going to Paris, bro. So we're going to see each other soon. I'd say on the arm, it's pretty tight. The shoulder, one with the shoulder pad on it. It's not like uncomfortably tight, but you can definitely tell it's tighter there. And then the pockets are like a no-go. The pocket is all the way back here. Like It just take a lot to even put your hands in the pocket. So I say the pockets aren't really that functional, which whatever. The jacket's fire as hell. It's Rick, bro. What can I say? Can't complain. I got this jacket, like I told you, Essence in Montreal. Next pickup right here was more of an impulse purchase, but I feel like it's one of those pieces where I probably never need another one because I have one that I could always go to. I love the crop of how it feel. And I went in store to pick this one up. Uh, this is new season at Acne Studios. I want to say it's the spring, summer also. Spring, summer 24 or spring, summer 23. No, I don't know this time. But brand new jacket. They got this one in the uh, military green, and the army green. And then they have one in like this ice blue colorway. Obviously, I went with the green. I think the green's really fire. They got these details on the shoulder. You can just unzip this and it adds a little bit more depth to the shoulder. So it's a little bit more like baggier on the arms instead of so form fitting. But this summer I really wanted to show, I don't know. I feel like fashion is going into this space where it's like everything is just consume, consume, consume. So everybody's like losing personal style. I'm going back to form fitting shit um, for the spring, summer, which I usually do. Obviously I'm not gonna stop wearing baggy clothes, but yeah, I got this new Acne Studios jacket. I was waiting a long time to wear this, um, and I ended up wearing it in LA, like in the forest, bro. It was cool. I don't know what made me have this fit on, but I definitely threw that shit together. Um, and I like it. I think the detailing is nice. But like, it has an insane crop to it. I just liked how the back looks also. I don't know why I be feeling so weird filming these videos sometimes because it's like I don't know what y'all actually be wanting like do y'all want me to really go and dive into every detail like this is spring summer this is this this is this it was this price it was or do y'all just want to see the clothes me personally I feel like y'all are just trying to see the clothes and like y'all want to see how it fit or something sometimes but 
or I'll probably tweak these videos in the later dates and then we'll figure out what we want to do. But right now I'm just having fun with it. I just got this probably like not even a week ago. Um, I was hesitant on getting it just because of the price point that it was at, like at 700, which actually is 650, but y'all know after you do taxes and all of that shit, obviously it go up a little bit. So it ended up being like 700. And then I put the shirt on and I was just like, wow. I really need this. I feel like nobody's gonna really have it too much. Or if you do got it, you're not gonna wear it how I'm wearing it. But we got this Rick Owens shirt right here. It's a tech crew shirt, like a crew neck, but it's obviously still got the tags on it and everything like that. I don't think it's any season. It's just Rick Owens main line, but it got the bat shoulders here, the tech, and then it's cropped. And the way that it's cropped is it's cropped like perfectly over the nipples. So this is the shirt right here. I feel like it's gonna be a good look for the spring, summertime. I'm also, like I just told you, I'm probably going to Paris in June. So this is something I thought like, okay, Paris Fashion Week outfit, switch something up a little bit. It kind of made me want to go get my stomach tatted, but like I told y'all, like my nipples are like here and it's just right over it, which that kind of sold it for me. And then on the back, obviously still got the tags and stuff on it, but I really think this is a good shirt. I really love the like shoulder pad look. I don't know, the bat wing type of look, like the hair, the braids to the side shape, like it just looked good. And I feel like everybody can't pull this off, but I'm happy that I got my body type um, because I'm a bad bitch. So what can I say? You feel me? Like this, this is nice. Like I, I'm looking in the mirror as I'm speaking, but this is nice, bro. Every time I put it on, it's just like, bad bitch, bad bitch, bad bitch. Yeah, dig. <laughs> So before I put my shirt back on, this is also actually a new pickup. This is an Anderson Bell shirt right here. It says I come alive. It's got the little distressing on it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but like it even got like a stain right there. I didn't give a fuck though. I thought it was cool. I picked this up from Wasteland in LA. Um, also, I guess I didn't tell y'all where I got the other pieces or maybe I did. My memory's fried now, but obviously there are certain brands. So I got the jackets from Rick Owens and then, or Essence and Rick Owens and then the acne jackets from acne. So the next thing we got is probably not like a conventional purchase for me. Um, I don't really buy too many like hoodies. Usually I get hoodies and stuff sent to me, but this hoodie kind of hit home a little bit. Not really hit home, but just like something I'm genuinely interested in. But it's this Justin Bieber Drew House hoodie. Um, if y'all know me, Justin Bieber is one of my favorite artists. I think bro music is fire as fuck. And I like the fact that it was like that Disney Channel star type of thing. Like we watch bro grow up for real. So it's cool like watch him be married and a believer in God and just everything he got going on. Music's fire, but had to pick up this Drew House jacket. It's oversized, but it's not too oversized. And I actually need to get this washed because some girl wasted a drink on me, bro, in the club. She didn't, I'm, I won't say wasted, but I don't know if you could see that. It's a little red smudge on there. I got little red smudges on everything. I already got one on my acne jacket too, but I'm not mad because I just feel like it kind of build character to pieces. This is the Drew House shirt. I don't really want to try this on. It's just the oversized hoodie, y'all. Like some LA shit, bro. I think it's cool though. And I picked that hoodie up from Wasteland, which is also my next two things to talk about. I picked up these two shirts from Wasteland also. But I don't know if y'all a little younger, if you around my age or older, y'all know about Gumby. It was a Gumby University tee. Like University of Gumby. I thought this was cool. It didn't cost too much. It was like, okay, $50 is kind of crazy, but I don't know. I thought this was cool. It got like texture in it, and I think that's nice as well. Next, I thought this t shirt was funny. Forrest was about to get this t shirt. He didn't like the way it fit on him. I'm like, oh, bro, give me that shit, but it's PETA. I'm not trying to get canceled. I just think this shirt funny. It's people eating tasty animals. I don't even know what PETA actually means, but it says all guys creature look best next to the mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't know, bro. Don't cancel me. I thought that shit was funny, bro. Like, I still think it's funny. I can't wait to take a fit pic in it. Actually, it might match the shoes I want to wear today. Might get a picture in it today. Y'all never know. This is something that I always wanted to get, but I never found one that really like gauged my interest. It is a sweater. Is this like a sweater vest? No, maybe, possibly sweater vest. 
Yeah, I think this is a sweater vest, but it's Marc Jacobs. It's Heavens. Um, I think Marc Jacobs is an amazing designer. I tried this on, and I just like how it look on my skin. I wanted to get some pants that I'm going to talk about a little later that I wanted to match with this, but my boys don't have them, so I'm trying to figure out where I can source those pants from or a pant that looks something like it. I think it's gonna make a good piece for the springtime and I'm gonna have my arms out. Y'all seen the comments on some of my videos. They like, bro, been in the gym. Like, thank you, bro. I appreciate y'all for noticing. I'm trying to do my thing a little bit. Health is well. And it was usually when the sun out, it just kind of make me want to do healthier shit. I don't know. Maybe that's why I should move to LA. So I personally love this. Like I like how this look and I like how my tatted arm looks with it. I don't know if the camera doing justice, but it's like a darker purple than what it looks like is given on camera. It's a little darker than that. But I like this. You can do this with a long sleeve, with a button up, you throw the button up on, maybe you can even put a tie for an accessory. And then I wanted to do like a black slack with these. So I am looking for a cool pair of black slacks. I like the ones that kind of like got the side panels that cinch in that kind of make it look pleated a little bit. But so these next three tops right here, I went to go see my boy. If y'all don't know the brand, y'all should get to know them. Basket case. Uh, my homie Zach owns the brand. So while I was out there in LA, we drove out to Coast the mesa where they got their like office and shit like that and all the product and basically we just hooked something up bro i was like i need some new pieces i got a shoot i want to style which i posted which y'all gonna see one of the sweaters and be like oh i've seen this before but yeah shout out zach at basket case bro that's like my brother that it's all love bro like i really appreciate him i know he appreciate what i got going we have a lot of good conversation i think every time we link up if it's like for example this is supposed to be a quick trip and then we ended up being there for like an hour or three and then hooping and it was it was fun went out to eat all that but first things first we got this basket case sweater right here um if y'all seen my outfit picture that i did for my doc martens collab i used all basket case pieces to style this but it's definitely a nice sweater if y'all want to see detailing y'all could probably peep that out but yeah don't want to really try none of them on because y'all gonna see them for sure but this one more of like a standard fit i love how this is it's definitely cropped too and it sit on the shoulders well um, so we got that one next we have these two striped ones right here so the arms on these striped ones are super long like they're long fit um, i feel like i will wear these with like baggier pants because of how like big they are and it's not big because of size and it's just wow that look kind of crazy on camera like I don't know what the hell <laughs> but yeah i love the stripes in these i really like this green one they give me like a she go vibe and then the brown and black is definitely gonna look good with my skin and i can't wait to rock those right there so i just wanted to make that one real quick but shout out zach at basket case we got more items from them too that's along the bottoms and then yeah let's get into this next piece yeah last but not least for the tops we got this jacket right here. This is an anonymous club jacket. If y'all don't know, Shane Oliver, the guy who started Hood by Air, he's rebranded, made a new clothing brand, and I think this jacket is fire. It's a funny story how I actually even ended up getting this. So Essex here in New York was having an event, and at the event, I went with my friend Sierra. It was a vibe. Everybody was shopping, having a good time. It was cool. And then this guy's name's Torino. He's a stylist based out of LA. He'd be in New York all the time too, but I guess he had wind of the fact that they had these jackets inside of there, and I'm just like, damn. this That's a cool, like, he had it at the register, and I'm like, like, damn what's this and then sierra's like damn what's this so they bring her a size out in the small he's like yo bro i took the last large but like you can see what the medium is and i went like that to his arm and his arm's bigger than mine bro so i'm like nah fuck that i'm gonna be able to fit the medium for sure so they brought me the medium out and i ended up getting the jacket too um it was cool all three of us ended up copping the jacket that same day and i don't know i just thought this is a hard jacket like um i'm a sucker for a good ass jacket bro i can't complain especially something unorthodox like this shit has shoulder pads on it but yeah i know i like my rick jacket with the shoulder pads on them but this got shoulder pads on it too i was gonna do like little voice not voiceovers but like the clips while i'm talking for everything but i just like when it's kind of like all rolls and flows together where you can just see everything but i really like this jacket too and i know not a lot of people got it um but yeah it's a good piece 
Now, I'm not a person that like usually resells my shit, but come a point where I'm going to want to sell this jacket. But that point has not come yet. But I do know me and I be selling shit sometimes, so this might fall into that rotation. All right, next things up is the bottoms. We just finished out with the Shane Oliver, the Anonymous Club uh, top. We're gonna start off with the pants as well. So these are the pants that go to the jacket, which are like a rarity, I feel like, to find all of a sudden. Uh, but this pair of pants is actually Sierra. She let me get these for a fit pick. And it's crazy though, because we was talking about the shit and like, I told her they had these pants there in the 26. And I didn't want to get them because I'm like, oh, they're 26. Like, they're not going to fit. But, bro, they're fucking sweatpants. And after I told her that they were there and she was just set, like, oh, I'm going to get them. I need the pants. I need the pants. It's just like, fuck. Like, now I can't. I started thinking, like, bro, you're like a 32 waist. You telling me, like, this elastic shit can't stretch around your waist? And I don't know. But one of my friends got them, so that's cool. That be meaning you got it sometimes also. But these are the same pants right here. I'm not trying these on. They, or should I try them on? Nah, I don't want to try on no pants, bro. I'm not going to lie. All right, fuck it. I, I'm going to try the pants on. I'm going to do the pants. All right. These next two pairs of pants right here are from Basket Case. These are flare denim from Basket Case. Um, like I told y'all, we went up there. They gave me a few selects and options for pieces. One thing that I will say is I don't have any black pants. So this is my first pair of like black denim that I have. And it's just a nice flare denim. I like how basket case do they flares. And I like wearing them with like Converse and shit like that. Um, am I turning into a LA guy with the Converse? Probably not, but I like Converse, bro. I was wearing them yesterday as well. And, but yeah, we got these pants here with the basket case detail in the embroidered on the back i really like this shit this is a good tag and yeah super good quality and i love wearing these like i said i'm going for more like form fitting shit uh this summer because i just feel like i don't know i got blessed with the body type to not have to wear baggy shit all the time but um spring is like my go-to for wanting to wear more colors and shit and like different silhouettes of how things will look on my body um and then we also have these pair right here and like this dirty brown wash and it's even like got like wax strokes on them i don't know if y'all can see those but the wax stroke and it's just this dirty brown color and this is what i wore also when i was in the forest with forest um filming his content that i was wearing and i took the outfit pictures in the acne jacket and that shit with converse haven't posted those yet y'all might and uh the internet might see those before y'all see this but we got those two pairs of pants right there again Thank you to my boy Zach over at Basket Case and the whole team, Henry, everybody else. Like, they're my guys, bro. They show love. And every time I do get a piece from them or item, I body that shit every time. Like, let's, I ain't gonna even get into that. <laughs> this next pair of pants right here was a gift from my boy. I mean, I did a promo for him, so, you know, he got me right and blessed me. But these are the baggy paper brown Paper brown paper brown paper bag pants right here from IHP from Ford. These some baggy ass pants right here. I love how these look too. And then I like how they got the gold accent here with the HP. And then even on the buttons, you can see like the happy promise on there. Hopefully it focused. But yeah, super baggy denim. And shout out my boy, bro. I love that my friends are doing like a bunch of cool shit on their own. Like he did the custom uh, stitching on the back with the HP tag. But yeah, I got a 32 waist in these. And in flares though, I always try and go a 34. So it's not so tight on my thighs. But baggy pants, I always go like 32 now. Can go up. And it depends on what pants they are. Like, Vetmont runs weird. My Vetmont pants are 28. Like, I don't know. Some stuff just run a little bit different. So, like, I think if you bought something from a brand before, you might not have to try it on. But, like, even Balenci... I don't know. If you got the opportunity to, try your clothes on before you cut. So, these next pants right here, I also picked up while I was in L.A. I got these from Acne Studios. I got a pair of Anfors. Got a pair of these, um... He's seen them before me and grabbed them shits, bro. And once he had them in his hand, I'm like, damn, these baggy pants hard as fuck. Like, I need them. So I was looking for sizes and shit like that. Come to find out they not cut how other acne baggy pants are cut. And I'm usually a 54, this is a 50 also. But I was able to cop a 52 in these and they fit just fine. 
But these Acne Studios denim right here and like this acid green like highlighter colorway. And they like got these like dirt strokes and shit on them already, which I think are fire. I like really, really like these pants. And I honestly think I'm gonna wear them today um, with my Jeremy Scott's. That was my plan with this outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna take pictures in it or not, but I think this shit's so hard. Acne Studio denim, they did cut these a little bit different. Like you can even tell from the pockets on the back that it's not the same as how they did their other pair of pants, but the colorway is amazing. And I wish they cut the orange ones the same way, but they didn't. So I wish they would cut both of them how the normal like acne is, but this is new season acne studios along with like the jacket I showed y'all earlier as well. And the second to last pair of pants that we got right here, um, I ordered these off Essence. I don't know if y'all know, but Needles is making baggy sweatpants now. They, I guess have perfected their craft with the sweats. But I got these sweatpants right here. I think these shit's mad cool. Like that green and fucking purple. The green and purple just sold it for me. And the way that they styled it on Essence as well was styled very well. Um, some stuff on Essence is not styled that good. But these were styled very well. And I like how that looked. I think these were like $200. And I got these sent out to LA because I knew they wasn't going to make it to New York before I went out to LA for Rolling Loud. So I'm very happy with these pickups. And if I find more colorways that I enjoy in this baggy sweatpant, I'm gonna cop. Like, I, I'm really a good fan of needles. Is it expensive, I would say? Sure, but I feel like you kind of getting what you pay for. It's not too crazy. I feel like two, I don't know what they were, like 215 or something like that, or 189 and it came out to like 215. But a lot of sweatpants for sure right there too i did just pick these up recently also from the rick owens store i got rick owens shorts i don't know what these shorts specifically are called but i like that it has like the metal detailing on them and everything with the buttons and then you know the normal strings per usual but i had two pairs of rick owens shorts i sold those and i got these because i feel like like i said summertime i don't know it's just nice to play with clothes where like you have a good form and good height like to play with form-fitting clothes like it's gonna look well so i decided why not capitalize off this i already like wearing bell bottoms I already like wearing baby tees everything else so i decided to like start getting smaller portions of smaller portions smaller more form-fitting options for my clothing and i know i've said this a hundred times this video and i need to lint roll these but yeah, we picked these up from Rick. These are also 700. Would I recommend anybody pay 700 for fucking shorts? Absolutely not. But it's part of a look that I'm going for, for like now, or if I'm just chilling, or I go to LA and can wear these, or like an outfit that I want to do in Paris Fashion Week. So I had to pick these up. Um, but I really like these short shorts. Like I think they hella cute. They hella cute, no cap. Okay, actual last item right here for the pants are these trousers right here. These are from Basket Case, and this is what I was talking about, about like the cinch, where they can look pleated a little bit, like that extra detailing right there. Oh, I need to get these clean, but yeah, baggy slacks. I want the black ones as well, so if anybody got the black ones in a size 32, I want to say these are. I think these are a 32, but if you got a 32 in these slack pants, let me know also because I need them. For accessories, we got two things. I'm sure y'all have seen my Chanel glasses, so I don't. Maybe I could throw these in here too. But quick run through, I got these glasses from Chanel right here. I got these while I was in Paris. I was looking for them for a long time over in the US, but I couldn't find any and I ended up going to Paris and these were the last pair. They're blue light glasses. I noticed a lot of research or whatever, or not a lot of research on the fact that blue light glasses are good for you. I don't care really. I like the shape. I like the size of the glasses. I like the Chanel on the side. I wish Chanel made like menswear. But next thing up, we got these two belts. These are the only things that I copped. This belt is like fur on it. And you can see the difference of like the color. It changes to white and it got a little blue in it also. And so I got this from the Rose Bowl flea market when I was in LA. 
And I did a custom and got this custom buckle put on it as well. Y'all know they used to do these a lot, like back in probably what, 2007, 2008. You could go to like your flea market and get these shits, bro. Like, so it was cool. I watched him like make the belt in front of me and shit like that. He got this belt too that's red. I do really like this belt. I do hate the fact that it does keep staying in my pants though. So I've chosen to not wear with any like pant that you could like visibly see. Like I'm not wearing these with no light wash denim. If anybody know a way that I can get this like belt to stop bleeding through clothes or whatever, let me know. Like maybe I have to like wash it and scrub it down or something myself. I don't know what I need to do, but it's the inside of the belt. Custom as well, and I think this is a cool belt. A red belt is always a good option to have. Now for the kicks. It's only four or five pairs of kicks. I'm gonna make this quick because they're saying my camera overheating. I be filming, bro. I be filming. But first things up, we got these right here. I don't have a box for mine because unlike everybody else that went and got theirs, me and Veneta are good friends. She came when I was in LA, she linked me when I was at Acne and she gave me a pair of the Tims. So I was just wearing them right here. You know, I got the glaze boys. The black ones are cool too, but I have a lot of black and why not just have a glaze like patent leather pair of Tims? They really appealing and it's definitely a good throw on shoe just like the normal Tims. So thank you to Veneta for these. I'm gonna see you soon, sweetheart, when I get back to LA. And I really appreciate you, no cap. You've been going crazy. All blessings and more life to you and Bobby and all your friends. Like, everybody's just doing good, good shit in life. But thank you for these. The next thing we got right here, I got these. I got these shipped to Paris to my friend Hannah. So I had these for Paris Fashion Week. But we have these right here. These Rick Owens Bogan boots, they're like a calf high boot. I love these, like when I say these are my favorite boots, these are for sure my favorite boots right now. I love these, the heel is super big on them, they stand up, so I call these my serial killer boots. I think they're the serial killer boots. Um, I really like these, these are definitely going everywhere with me. A lot of shit don't go everywhere, but this is one of those pieces where I feel like it's gonna be so timeless and I won't ever get rid of them. I just gotta keep them preserved and keep them healthy and clean, but love how these look. Y'all didn't see me wear them a handful of times on Instagram already, so like I said, can't complain about these. And they look good with skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, I'm wearing skinny jeans this summer. Form-fitting clothing, bro, just trust me, y'all. Next things next, we have these right here. The Margella, Margella Tabby Loafers. I really like this shoe a lot, and my homie works at one of these stores. I ain't gonna say which store. He hooked me up with a discount on these, so instead of paying retail, that was like, I think a $10.95, I paid like $6.50 for them. So it made it a guaranteed cop. What I will say is these shits are so uncomfortable, bro. Like I had, you know how like when your skin scrape against something, bro? When I took, matter of fact, you see that like dark mark back there? That's blood. That's blood. And my like it was bleeding, bro. Scraping again. And we went to the flea market and I was wearing these in LA. Oh my god. It made like looking not enjoyable. It made me like I didn't have a good mood at all. But once I break these in and next time I wear them, I will make sure I have band-aids back there just so we can, you know make sure nothing happens again but i'll be wearing these soon as far as spring summer goes um and i think it's definitely a good way to keep things like classy you can do form-fitting looks with them more formal looks with them street wear with them i just think it's gonna be a universal shoe and i'm really enjoying loafers i have another pair of loafers down there but like i'm gonna wear these all the time too if they stop hurting my fucking feet so this next shoe right here, don't really need too much explaining, but I got these right here, normal Converse. I swear it was a point where Converse was like $60 or something, and the thing was on the outside maybe, but now it's only on the insides. I like these, and they're definitely higher quality and say so comfortable, bro, so comfortable. But I don't want need to say too much about these. I think me and Forrest was talking about this, copping shoes and shit that's just a good pickup, that's just a good throw on, like will go with anything. And I feel like this is one of those shoes. And I'll be getting more Converse soon. Like I really like this shoe. And I think it's just kind of a staple to kind of have now. It looked good with baggy pants when I wore them with those. And it looks good with my flares when I wear those all the time. So like, I just enjoy it a lot, honestly. I really do. Love these Converse. I want to work with Converse too. So Converse or anybody on y'all team, if y'all seeing this, hit your boy 1K up. These while I was in LA also. 
But it's these Birkenstocks right here, the Stussy Birkenstocks. I'm not going to lie, when I went to Atlanta, I think Nick and Sleazy has a pair of these, and it made me want these shits, not going to lie. But I was looking on StockX and shit, and I'm like, 360? Like, fuck no, bro. So I'm calling around stores in LA, and then I asked for a size 45, which is a 12. I'm a 13. I can still fit them, but uh call they're like yeah we have one like yeah pull up so we just pulled up and i grabbed them right away like for the outfit that i was wearing with uh needles pants i wanted to wear these this is a good throw on shoe too you go on a sneaky link you just try and be fly you can be fly with the slides on get you some of these get y'all birkenstocks they don't even have to be the stussy collab but get y'all some birkenstocks And last but not least for this video, I got one of my grails. Um, it's not necessarily the colorway that I really, really wanted, but uh, nonetheless, I'm keeping them. And if I find any more pairs that are in a good condition, if y'all know anybody, hit me up. That's in the 13. The Jeremy Scotts. Like, look at these. They were dead stock. I broke them out yesterday, bro. I don't know when this shoe came out, but it was a really big era of like these shoes and Jeremy Scott and Adidas and like, it's just mad creative and I love shit like this. Um, I know me wearing them now, people are really going to be like, yo, bro, like he really got those. Like, yeah, I really got them, bro. I really got them. Shout out, um, where did I get these from actually? Shout out GOAT. I got these from GOAT, bro. But yeah, that's really the end of all of this, bro. I think it was a good pickup. I don't know what y'all be wanting. If y'all want a mad detailed and shit like that, but I do the best I can as far as my pickups go, my videos go. I think these are like better when they're informal. They don't have to be too serious. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. I appreciate all of y'all, honestly, bro. I wouldn't be able to buy the shit that I buy or make content the way I make content or travel how I travel without y'all bro honestly and I mean that from the bottom of my heart this is not like some oh it's just influencer saying like I really mean that shit bro and when I'm able to like look out and show love I'm obviously gonna do that shit but yeah man it was a good pick up video I probably see y'all in a month with a new caliber of shit but I'm trying to chill because I think I want to move to LA in September for my birthday so I'm gonna have to pay my lease off till November once September come around and move all my shit out there. But I think it'd be cool, bro. I feel like it's something, I'm gonna make a whole new video talking about that shit. But yeah, man, I think it's gonna be a vibe and it's your boy 1K and I'm out. <laughs>